Thank you for watching Abstract Ohio. This abstract is on the 1910 Licking County Riot. If you enjoy these videos, please click like as well as subscribe. One can just imagine on the morning of July 8, 1910, how excited 17-year-old Carl Etherington must have been. The skinny teenager was also most likely more than a little nervous that someone would realize that he wasn't a 19-year-old ex-Marine as he claimed. He stood with 19 others as they raised their right hands and were sworn in as agents of the Anti-Saloon League. It was 8.30 a.m. Friday morning, and Carl wouldn't live to see Saturday. Prohibition wouldn't begin in the nation for another decade, but the temperance movement was spreading. Licking had only voted to become a dry community the year before, but an overwhelming number of Newark voters had voted against it. And it's widely believed many of Newark's officials and law officers were on the take, and they turned a blind eye to the city's saloons. There are several versions of what exactly transpired that evening, so it's hard to tell the truth. What we can be sure of is that as Etherington and his fellow raiders attempted a raid on one local bar, things turned ugly. The patrons fought back and the raiders had to flee. In the ensuing melee, the teenage agent crossed paths with ex-policeman turned saloon owner, 41-year-old William Howard. Howard was getting the best of Etherington and was beating him with a blackjack. In self-defense, the teen pulled his pistol and shot him. Carl was arrested shortly after that and taken to the Licking County Jail. A mob began gathering outside almost immediately. When it was learned that Howard was pronounced dead, the mob swelled to anywhere from 5,000 to 8,000. Battering rams were employed, and the crowd broke into the jail. It was reported that the frightened teen tried to take his own life before the angry crowd could get to him. He was unsuccessful. It's most likely that Carl was beaten to death before his body was taken from his jail cell and carried to the southeast corner of the courthouse yard and hung from a utility pole. 58 men would be indicted for the events that unfolded that night. Two for perjury, 10 for assault and battery, 21 for rioting, and 25 for first degree murder. Carl Etherington's ghost, as well as others, are believed to haunt this jail still today. Thank you for watching Abstract Ohio. Please like and subscribe, as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.